In this movie, we're going to look at a quick way to copy keyframes to save time. I have this copying keyframes project open. This is essentially what we looked at earlier in this chapter with this wizard when we made him cast spells. And you might remember how tedious it was to make his eyebrows go up and down and his mustache go up and down. And eventually, as you can see, we just kind of stopped. And there's just kind of an end here and things were done. Of course, we made lightning bolts out of his hand, so it, it was good that they stopped. But what if we wanted this motion of him talking randomly and his eyebrows moving randomly to continue throughout this entire composition. That would be really tedious just to move in time and then change the value and then move in time and change the value for all these layers. So instead what we could do is copy and paste keyframes to save time. Now I know that sounds really easy, but After Effects set this up a little bit weird, but it actually is weird in a good way. It's very, very time saving. So as this works, I'm gonna click and drag a marquee to select all these keyframes. And by the way, if you want to select all the keyframes of a given property, all you have to do is just click the name of the property and they're all selected. I usually do the marquee thing more often, honestly, because I could select just pieces. I could select just three of them instead of all of them at once. But just another option there. So I'm going to select all these keyframes here, and I'm going to hit Command C on the keyboard or Control C on the PC. And then what I'm going to do is paste. And look at that. So here's how this works. When you copy the keyframes, the keyframes are copied. And then when you paste them, the first copied keyframe is pasted where the current time indicator is. So if I move in time, I could paste again by hitting Control or Command V as in Victor and just keep doing this because again, these keyframes are pasted where my current time indicator is. As we scrub this, we'll see an entire composition full of left eyebrow movement. Now that looks kind of silly if we don't have the right eyebrow moving in tandem, so let's go ahead and fix that. I'm going to select these keyframes, copy them, paste them, but instead of going out and pasting again, what I'm going to do is select all of them now, the original and the copied, and then copy those. And then I could select all of those and paste all of those. So just another way to get a bunch of stuff done at once. Select the stuff that you've pasted so you have more to paste next time. And there we go. So now we have five seconds of eyebrow movement and of wizard casting spells. Really a great time saver.